Welcome to Dalgetty Wood. Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. Welcome to Dalgetty Castle. We're here for the weekend and here is video footage of that visit. And here is where we're parked at the Delgatti Woods car park east of Turriff, where it says we are on the map. And we'll walk at the far point to that car park by the castle. Dalgetty Castle looks more like a fortified house to me, so uh, I've not really done any research on it, bar what's at the gate here, um, for three years <laughs> since the last time we were here, and I really didn't do much about the history. So I'll be uh, looking at the history, and you'll get some of that in the video that follows. But uh, I suspect when it was first built it was and just over the years it's been turned from a true castle to uh, a fortified house as uh, living requirements has improved <laughs> over, the, over the centuries. Delgasty Woods. We're at a junction. We have uh, a choice of three ways this way. this way and no the third way isn't back that's the fourth way or this way a dark and dingy path through the woods ah, no point going through the light is there let's have a dive down in the dark pathways Not so dark once you get in it. And not for very long either. Delgatti Wood is one of those places you can come back to every day and notice something different each time as the seasons change. The trails are great for cycling as well as walking. The woods are a great place to go for walks, biking and family fun, walk your dog or visit the castle and the pond for fishing. The castle is a good place for picnics. A well-known folk song tells of a farm labourer who was hired at the market in Turriff as a hand at the barnyards of Dalgetty, a nearby farmstead. When he got there he found the horses he was expected to work with were in a sorry state. Still. Life apparently was good around the area. As he sings, When I gang to the kirk on Sunday, Monny's the bonny lass I see, Sitting by her father's side, Winking hour the pews at me. The best park up is the small car park at the south side of the forest, where we are. From there you can join the Songbirds Trail and follow it up to the castle for a gentle, pleasant walk. Actually, that's the walk Lindsay tried to kill me on. <laughs> but for that, you'll have had to watch the diary. Well, first year cash of failure, but as the last six people were DNFs, I don't feel so bad.
castle has stood on the site of Dalgetty Castle since the year 1030 AD, although the earliest parts of the castle standing today were built between 1570 and 1579. Additional wings and a chapel were added in 1743. The castle was stripped from the disgraced Henry de Maumont, Earl of Buchan, after the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314 and given to Clan Hay, later to become the Earls of Errol. Mary Queen of Scots was a guest at the castle in 1562 after the Battle of Corrichi. Like many castles, Delgati is rumoured to be haunted. A number of reports of a ghostly red-haired figure, supposedly one Alexander Hay, were made by the soldiers posted there during the Second World War. The castle's information boards, mostly written by Captain Hay, who restored the house, recount that the ghost was first seen when a body was found bricked up in a priest hole. Today the castle and its gardens are owned by the Delgetti Castle Trust. The castle grounds and cafe are open to the public throughout the summer months and suites within the castle itself as well as a number of cottages on the estate. castle. More of a house these days. A duke, not as big as the one at Fenlatter but serving the same purpose, which here, along with the pond by the mill stream, quite probably fed the castle. hidden by the trees and when there's leaves on them I expect completely hidden Dalgetty Castle near Turf well this weekend was supposed to be wet snowy windy all three together separately but we've woke to a lucky morning. It was tipping up with rain last night when we got here. But this morning, yes, bright sunshine. It's starting to cloud over now, but we had some lovely sunshine. So straight after breakfast, one cup of tea, we headed out to see the walks. We've done part of the blue walk and part of the red walk to arrive at the castle. Our car park, which is a good distance away, is uh, quite quiet and a lovely walk to and from it. The car park right at the castle is very, very busy. 
we've uh, come through the wart and uh, it's almost as if autumn hasn't arrived. The trees have shed their leaves, except for the pines, but most of the other trees are bare. But the ferns and the grasses etc are still very very green. The only scene we've probably got from autumn is the seed bags that you get along the side of the path. You know the ones, the ones with the, which are full of fertiliser, yeah, the dog poo bags. Forestry up here allows you to flick and stick or stick and flick or do something with it. So all you have to do is flick it into the trees somewhere, you know, but uh, I suppose that's too much for people as well. It's a nice day. It looks like cloud is forming and the forecast might come true. And if it does, that'll put a kibosh on the uh, drone flying for today. But who knows, I might get to fly when we get back to the van. Both geocaches have been a disappointment, but as the last half a dozen on each have been do not find or did not find, I wasn't really expecting to find it. As others have said, they've, they've been moved. Um, what I suspect is the, the owners have, have given up on them. Um, I don't know, uh, but perhaps they live down south or away from this area and due to Covid have not been able to maintain the caches. But whatever, they're no longer there. It's a shame really. Um, they're in a lovely spot, a couple of lovely spots and nice to pick up. Um, I don't think there's any other in this area that are walkable from where we're parked up. So uh, probably no more caches this weekend. Well, we're at the furthest point away from the car, the car park and Desmond. And look what's started. Looks like we're going to get wet. Oh well. A different path on the way back. Following the blue route. The Songbird Trail. It's deadly silence. But then it is winter. Apparently, all these felled trees are because they love the trees. Nothing to do with how much the wood itself is worth. Mostly pine, but some older trees as well. Yep, for the love of the trees, not for the love of money. Yep, cut down all the trees that are drinking up the water and keeping the paths dry and you end up with a very wet path. There's almost a burn running down this one. Say something. Something. Welcome to Dalgetty Wood. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's Desmond's Dogs. Please take nothing but memories, leave nothing but tracks. We hope you enjoyed it and you will join us next time. In the meantime, please think about subscribing.